Are you confused about what a KB Crawl landing page is compared to an IDX squeeze page? Then this video is for you. My name is Sarmila Rajasingham. I'm a real estate marketer, real estate agent, and a global team leader with the XP Realty Brokerage. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and hit the notification bell to get updates on new content. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you watch to the end because I'm going to give you some information as to how you can get access, free access to my KB Core marketing course. Now let's get started. In this video, I'm going to walk you through giving you a clear and better understanding of what a landing page is versus an IDX squeeze page. And the reason why I wanted to do this is are commonly asked questions by some of my own agents, especially newer agents who are who haven't been in the industry, who haven't worked in marketing. And there's a lot of technical terminologies that gets thrown out in our industry because we're entrepreneurs and we have to do a lot of things on our own, especially marketing, promoting our own business and everything from personal branding to Facebook ads and everything in between. There's a ton of different marketing lingos that gets tossed around and then comes KB Core with its own tools and features. And I could imagine how confusing and overwhelming it could be. And even as a marketer who's been in the industry for over 10 years, I also, you know, this is all new to me when it comes to the real estate industry because I came from working for the government, not for profit, a number of different brands. But I came in here with some of the marketing principles and strategies that I've applied to in my business for over a decade. And when I got started in KB Core and in general, just looking at all of the futures that opened my eyes to the immense opportunity that's out there, but also that missing gap. Um, there's a gap that that gap opportunity that I've noticed that that I can leverage and take this as my own personal way of helping and helping you grow and helping you understand some of these terminologies. So let's get into it. And I hope this is helpful for you. And when I'm going through this, if you have any questions at all, leave it in the comment section below. Let's talk about this. So what is a landing page and what is a squeeze page? And what I really want to drive home here, the differences are the purpose of what these pages stand for are very similar. The elements of what makes up these pages are what's different. For example, both of these pages are lead generation tools. They're both meant to help you grow your database, but the way that they're built is a little bit different and what they stand for and, and, the, and the type of information it houses and where it directs to. So a landing page is a standalone page that aims to achieve a single conversion goal. And it could be time sensitive. It may be campaign driven. It can be marketed or targeting an audience type, which I highly always recommend that every promotional materials that you create is targeted to a particular audience and and it has more information it explains to people where and where they have arrived and what is it all about and how they can take advantage of the information that's on the page and often it comes with some sort of a value in exchange for their information and it can be anything and everything from a list of homes giveaway information on a property, information on, you know, types, certain types of property like pool property or investment property. It can be even a tool that various people within the industry may need, like a buyer's guide, investor guide, a cash flow analyzer, any of that th any of those sorts can be used in a landing page. So anything above and beyond properties as well as anything like a lead magnet that could bring them and make it enticing for people to want to put their information and and the landing page is almost it's kind of an extension of your own website and domain and which is what's so important and interesting about this is that it should follow the look and feel of your brand so when they appear on this page there shouldn't be a disconnect and a squeeze page is it has one constant goal so it doesn't it that link doesn't really expire and you can always continue to use it and and then and not always but often it doesn't expire depending on what is housing and it's product focus and what i mean by that is the squeeze page takes you directly to the product and services of of the industry and for us we're in the business of selling real estate so our squeeze pages is idx integrated so that what that means is mls system integrated and it takes us to the mls system and the real estate board that we're a part of then that we have access to so it usually has less information because it's it goes directly to the product is more streamlined and it's more direct, if that makes sense. So think of it like your search button in, a, in the homepage of KB Core where people can search a property to find. Think of it like that, but a narrower, a squeezed, saved search that is allowing somebody to to look at a property that is confined to a particular search. So what you're doing is 
you know, creating a page that is more targeted and 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 making it more useful for the people that you're actually sharing this way with. So it's that home search page that squeezes traffic into leads, which is to give you a better understanding. And that's why it's called IDX squeeze page, because it's the, the listing squeezed into a page. I'm going to give you some examples of what this looks like. So this is a KB Core landing page template that you have access to. Right where the red arrow is, it's going to show you the type of landing pages that you have access to uh, from lead generation to, you know, putting in copy like this with just email, phone number, and then they can download or take them to a particular lead magnet, for example. Some of the other landing pages that are available here are you can embed a, a a video, or you can do a text-based campaign, various different things that are available through you. And I highly recommend that you look at all of the templates. And if you have any questions at all of how to set up a landing page and what campaigns to run, how to promote it, make sure you check out the three part series videos that I just recently released. That's going to really walk you through giving you some ideas of how to leverage this tool within KV Core. It is really awesome because it's an extension of your domain. It's it's organized to a hashtag so you know exactly where your leads are coming from. It has the ability to take that link and share it in a number of different ways for you to leverage and to grow your business. And, and you can, it's, it really is a template so you can change the image, you can write and change the copy, you can remove you know, more copy here if you don't have enough information to fill it in and it makes it work for you and you can allow people to get, you know, their phone number, your email address or uh, and or their phone number and you can change the copy for call to action here. Let's look at the a sample IDX squeeze page. So this is, for example, a list of homes that are in, in the greater Toronto area that I just pulled and what you can do is again you're squeezing your search into a particular types of property let's say under a certain number of homes one of the really cool ways to actually leverage an idx like squeeze page is you can do something like you know um condos under 400,000 in Toronto or something like that, which is highly unlikely to look at, right? So in the greater Toronto area. And you wanted to obviously pick an amount or price level that is more enticing for people. And the, the higher the price of the property, the less people that you can target because not a lot of people can afford over a million dollar of property. But you also want to look at your market. Right. So, for example, there isn't a lot of houses in, in, in Toronto area that's under a million. So but if you were to find them and if you were to squeeze it into a page of properties that are being listed under a million right now with this market shift, you can actually promote it saying houses in Toronto, detached houses in Toronto going for under a million with this market change. Check out this up, real time up to date list right here. And this is uh, and KB Core, as you know, it updates even quicker. When I did my listings, you can notice that it actually updates even faster and it became becomes public quicker than uh, Zillow or Realtor.co or anything like that. So I highly recommend that you take advantage of this platform. And this is great because now you can use this in Facebook ads, promote it across the board through social media and lots of other free lead generation tactics as well. So let's also quickly now go ahead and look at some of the IDX squeeze pitches within KV Core that are available. There's a ton of video coming around this, so stay tuned. This is a great time to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you get updates on some of the content that's going to be coming up around IDX squeeze page. I'm going to be building out a series just around this, just like the way I did with I with the landing page, so stay tuned for that. As you can see here, there are multiple different squeeze pages. There's multi-properties, just like the example I showed you. If there's a property that you're either listing or you have permission to promote, you can actually promote them directly to this one single property, or you can leverage a squeeze page just to target sellers. And there's a video just around this on my YouTube channel. Make sure you go check that out. Or you can leverage the market report functionality within KB Core to actually generate leads ton of different great options for you. These are all great landing pages and squeeze pages to really build your business. If this is if this video was helpful for you and you were able to get a ton of information to help you grow your business, this is exactly what I do in my KB Core Lead Generation course. This is the ultimate real estate marketing course that you have access to. And I'm giving this to all of you for free. If you are looking to join a team or a brokerage that's going to help you grow and scale your business the way you want to, and you want to become the go-to agent in your neighborhood, then we are the right group with the right 
resources to help you. And this is just one of many numerous resources within our group. I want you to click on that link in the description below just to explore all the amazing tools that we have access to. You have multiple mastermind calls on a weekly basis. You have training with me on a daily basis to help you with your business. And this is just one of many, and I'm just scratching the surface. And this is really a sample to a lot of what you're going to find in the KB Core Lead Generation course, which is a how-to, which I teach you how to learn KB Core, how to use KB Core, how to set up your KB Core. And then I take you to the next level, unlike any other training out there is where I applied a lot of my marketing strategies and principles to take the KB Core tools to the next level to help you grow your business. So I encourage you to check that out. Again, if this video was helpful, make, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions at all, make sure you leave it in the comment section below. I will see you next time. My name is Tharmila Rajasingham. I'm a real estate marketer, real estate agent, and a global team leader. Thank you so much.